big dog. I mean, this was a large, large dog. And, and that's where Charlie Chaplin ended Yes, I'm sorry. Right? I, I did miss Charlie, the next door neighbor. Well, he, uh, he was Charlie Chaplin. I, I, you probably know him from his films and, you know, The Little Tramp. And he's iconic in that. But he was, um, like my father, not all that he appeared to be. And uh, he, he was a party animal. And uh, he would have some really wild parties. He was a wild man, really. And uh, anyway, not that it was, you know, my dog Bill chased cars. And, uh, and unfortunately, he chased car, Charlie's car down the street one day and got tangled up in his wheels of his car and, and he was killed. To his credit, Charlie came back to the house and told my parents that he had you know, run over Bill. A um, little side note here, since we're sharing stories. James Mason had cats. He loved cats. In fact, if you go on eBay and you look for the James Mason you put in cats, he wrote a cat book with illustrated cat book. He loved cats. And my, my dog Bill loved cats too. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, Bill would bring home on occasion some of James Mason's cats in, in different, well, you don't want to know, but it was not pretty. So James Mason hated my dog Bill and he would complain all the time to my parents about Bill, you know, you've got to keep that dog on your property. And he was right, you know. But Bill was a hunter, and I'm sure that when Charlie ran over Bill, somebody down the street, my babysitter, was rejoicing, you know. But uh, but anyway, he did he did run over the dog, he killed the dog, and I, I was eight. It's 1953, and as you might recall, Charlie had uh, had done this film called Limelight, and he had gone back to England, his home his birth country for the premiere and he had had some run-ins with the law here in the United States. I don't know how many of you know about this, but uh, if you're students you do. And he had violated the Mann Act and he had taken a teenager across state lines and plus this was during the HUAC hearings and there was a, this is Eisenhower administration, you know, and uh, so it was very conservative and he was thought to be uh, communist sympathizer, and when he tried to come back, uh, they wouldn't let him in. And he never did come back until, he, I think, he accepted his Academy Award in that very touching speech he gave, you know, before he passed. But uh, my parents told me that the reason he didn't come back was because of killing my dog, Bill. <laughs> so, I had some closure with that. Uh, I don't know if it was enough punishment, but uh, as it turned out, because he didn't come back and he lived next door, my father bought his house and he remodeled it uh, actually for his, his mother. My grandmother moved in there, but, uh, but no, it was a very interesting upbringing. And I mean, aside from the neighbors, just the people who came to the house and the Sophie Tuckers and the Eddie Canners and Barbara Stanwyck and and uh, it's just so many people came through my life. I, you know, I'm not a young guy now, but I feel I'm about 120. But I do have stories. Well, now